I've been a little tired of talking. How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Kim Kardashian, I really got to ask, is Kim going through a midlife crisis? Because y'all, something is going on. If you guys don't know, Kim has been all over Italy. I don't know where those crowds came from. Italy, do better. We They, they need hobbies in Italy. But she's been all over Italy, eagle tripping because a bunch of crowds have come out to see her. Unfortunately, we also got some unedited pics to show that all is not mentally well because you couldn't have done that with your face and thought it was a good idea. Go watch my old video. I just posted it yesterday on that. But let's talk about the way there was a blind item that came out about the fact that Kim threw a fit, right? About being sat down to this young, beautiful, new ball actress and singer. When I first read that blind item, I was like, I don't know. Who's Kim? Like, they said it was about Kim, but I was like, who could they be talking about? Well, you guys, there is video confirmation that this blind item might have been true. To which I said, is Kim turning into the real life version of Cruella DeVille? I don't understand this. There are always going to be somebody prettier, smarter, hotter, richer in life no one is neo nobody has like what do you call it like the six the six um um uh whatever I'm not gonna get into that nobody has it all and that's okay because baby you can feel like you are the best you are the smartest you are the prettiest to yourself but to actually go out into that world and compete now to add in a layer that you actually do obsess over beauty and youth beauty and youth the two, no, forget about beauty, because beauty's not fleeting. I believe if somebody's beautiful when they're younger, inside or out, they'll be beautiful when they're older. It just changes like all things, right? All things good change and evolve into something better. But to chase after youth, when this is the one thing that is attached to time, and time's the one thing that we will never get back. You cannot make, that's why it's so precious. You are literally out here trying to compete with these 20 something year old girlies and on top of that, the way you decided to compete and to try to banish them from the kingdom, she has turned into the real life evil stepmother from Cinderella. She has turned into the real life Corella DeVille. This is what you're doing. They're also saying that Kim is not done with Pete, saying that she is the worst he's she he's ever had. They're saying that these rumors that came out about Pete messing around with Ice Spice came from the Kardashian camp because they are trying to start problems between him and Chase Sue. Now, the funny thing is, Kim, it actually backfired because if this is true, that it did come from the Kardashian camp as a way to kind of like make problems between. And again, it does sound like what Kardashians would do. The rumors were debunked almost immediately as soon as they came out. It looks like by Pete Davidson's camp because TMZ came out and said, it's not true. He's dating actress Chase Sue Wonders. People's like, you're not going to be disrespecting my relationship with a girl I actually like by putting out this false stuff. I don't know where this came from. Kimberly, we're looking at you. However, we're good over here. Me and Chase are going to the Daytona 3000. However, one person that actually thought these rumors were true and actually might be working to kind of destabilize things Drake immediately followed Ice Spice on uh, on Instagram again. If we if you don't know, Drake and Ice Spice, Ice Spice was kind of his mentor. Sorry. So Drake and Ice Spice were last featured with each other at some concert. Drake was looking around to see if anybody was watching. Ice Spice looked like she, I don't know, scared, sad, literally being like, I will never put myself in this position again. I really don't know. But that was the last time they were ever seen around each other. They unfollowed each other on Instagram. Once these rumors hit about Pete and Ice Spice, which are have been debunked, from Pete's camp, and I assume from Ice Spice camp too, because baby, Ice Spice don't need Pete. Have you seen Ice Spice? Have you seen her talent? Have you seen her charisma? Have you seen her, bu she don't need Pete, right? Um, she ain't gonna eat Pete. Anyway, um, after that, the things came out, Drake actually followed Ice Spice again. Now, Ice Spice has not followed him back, but let's get into what we are talking about with the Kimberly uh, Kardashian, a blind item that it looks like has had. Now, this is from CDAN. As you guys know, NT Crazy Days and Nice, they said this 
superstar reality star who bailed on an exam she was supposed to take last week. You know how Kim is like, yeah, I'm a lawyer, blah, blah, blah. She's not, she's an apprenticeship. Let's see if she actually even takes and passes the California bar. Now, if she does, I will give her props, but all the stuff that she's doing, Kim stop, right? Um, Kim made an empty threat to a designer that she would boycott them because the designer sat a model singer next to her who got all the attention that Kim was used to having. Again, without Kanye West, I'll just say it, Kim's style, it just looks so basic. And again, if I was to see her at a party, girl, whatever, you look cute, but you are trying to be a style icon. You are trying to inspire. You are trying to become a juggernaut, a legend, make a look that inspires the girly for ages. The same way Marilyn Monroe made a look that's inspiring people how many, 50 years later, right? Kim, that's not it. You just have a cute cocktail look like, yeah, that's cute. But if I gone into the Dolce Gabbana store, bought it off the mannequin, put it on, did my hair and makeup, we would be on the same level. There's no je ne sais quoi if you want. And that's what Kim's not getting. But again, you're looking at who was she sat next to, right? And on top of that, she never wears it right. And she makes everything look so cheap. Like her whole thing is like her videos of her jumping up the steps. Do 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 and don't get me wrong, it's cute if my girlfriend posted the video, but for what Kim is aspiring to be, no, it doesn't work. Try harder. So what who is this girl that according to Crazy Days and Nights has Kimberly Kardashian in a bunch, if we can believe it? Her name is Tyla. Her name is Tyla and she is a South African girly, right? She is, first of all, she is drop dead gorgeous. Second of all, she is young, she is fresh. But when I say young and fresh, listen to me when I say when I'm young. Young, youth is a state of mind. We have let, met 20 year olds that are old souls and 80 year olds that you're just like, yo, they are so young and fresh. Youth is an energy an openness, a, 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 a ability to be carefree and unbothered about most things that have hampered people down in life. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Everybody has a different version of it, but we know what it is. That is youth. So when I say this girl is youthful and she is young, baby, she has amazing style. She has amazing energy. But not only that, she has the things that Kim covets more than anything. Remember Kim said she would eat bowls of poop every morning to say, say young? We laughed it off, but she was dead serious about that. Imagine the fear you have of aging, which is one of the biggest gifts you can give of aging. And you would eat feces every morning to stop that every morning to stop that process right makes me think how many times has she eaten it before maybe i'm just like oh my god the depravity and kim's like no, I tried it once or twice it's not that bad especially when there's another girl in the car okay let me stop anyway um anyway dulce and gabbana was she was sat next to tyla tyla is a south african singer she is a model. She is a sensation. She has amazing style, amazing energy. She is confident. She is bold. In all the ways Kim cares, she has her natural face, which is a beautiful blessed, blessed face, right? She has a naturally thin but curvy body. She has the lower body proportions that Kim still wants with the thinner legs, the not basically the, the body that Kim dieted, exercised, went to a surgeon for. Tyra naturally has that body. Now, again, am I comparing people's bodies? No, but I am saying in the ways that Kim cares, she just can't take it. Not only that, when she showed up, she was wearing her Dolce & Gabbana stuff. Kim showed up looking like she was at cocktail hour. And there is something about Kim. I don't know if at the end of the day, she feels intimidated by those spaces where she doesn't just let herself be free. And maybe she is, but it doesn't come across it. Tyler is free. She's creative. She has that Jenna Sequa. This is the woman and she's drop dead gorgeous and she is young. I believe she's 23. She's very, very young. So she has 20 more years. Again, I get where Kim's coming from and I know the Kardashians like to be like, Ugh, they're below me. But the mark of someone is not where we are at at the present moment. You have to look at where somebody is in their career, okay? 
Tyla is literally two years into her career and has massive fandom on top of all her other attributes. Kim, where were you two years into your career? When you were like with the car, where were you as a closet dresser? Yeah, you were lifting Brandy's mother's credit card. So when people that are successful like to talk about people who aren't, the mark isn't where we both are now. Yeah, you've been at this game 20 years longer than me, 10, 15 years longer than me. Of course you're supposed to have more. Where were you, where were you back then? And that I think is the biggest threat. You guys, if this blind item can be believed, and I believe it, the fact that Kim didn't even want to stand next to this girl, she was seated, she looked so uncomfortable, she didn't even want to take pictures next to this girl. Y'all, listen, let me know what you think in the comments. I will say this, I find it hilarious that these Ice Spice Peace rumors came up, Pete shot them down real quick, real quick, right? And I find it odd that even in Milan, where Kim wants to be the center of everything, you're still not the brightest star shining. And again, I, I, you ever see somebody that's just not, I, I don't know. It's given, it's given midlife crisis. Let me know what y'all think it's given in the comments, all right? I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.